Right, Dick, where are we heading off to here? I just want to show you this incinerator that's being built very, very close to St. Danis. Blimey. Terrible, isn't that? Humongous. So, I'm guessing, as a proud Cornishman from this part of Cornwall, you weren't too keen on that. No, I'm, I'm proud to say that I fought that for over a decade. Yeah. And when, when it went to the public inquiry, I actually produced a 33,000 word document arguing why it was inappropriate. And yet it still got rubber stamped and it's happening because of a coalition minister who decided in London it's going to happen. And, you know, that and what's happening in Cornwall, I mean, they're just destroying Cornwall with bad planning. So, yeah, you're right, they are. Uh, and, I'm, you know, that sort of thing wouldn't happen in some of the more desirable areas of Cornwall that are perceived by another population, the Foys, the Port Isaacs, the Loos. I mean, that wouldn't appear around there, would it? I mean, we know well, coming here from Clay Country, we get dumped on. It's totally unacceptable. And, you know, that's one of the strong things I've been doing for many years is trying to fight back for our area. So what, if you got in power in mid-Cornwall, Snowstorm, Newquay and surrounding, what would you do about things like this? And other bigger sure. developments. Well, I think, I mean, you, you go to Newquay, you go to Bobmin, you go down west, you know, the amount of housing growth that's happening, and it's not happening because people need houses as such, it's happening because of it's about profit more than anything else because they're not delivering enough affordable housing. No. Whole thing's out of control. It's being dictated to by Westminster politicians. I say we need all decisions about planning in Cornwall so that things like this aren't allowed to happen, so that we... You know, we do the housing that people need, not just allow large developers to make mass profits. And, mm. you know, the whole thing needs to change. And I can't see any of the other, you know, the London parties actually getting to grips with it at all. No, I can't see that either. I had a discussion with a chap in one of your rivals who kept saying it's about profit. And I said, why is it about profit? And he said, yeah. that's just the way it is. But that doesn't have to be the way it is anymore, does it? We can change these sort of things. I mean, people I, like you can change yeah. these things. People have got to fight it or else it will be too late for Cornwall. Yeah. And I look at some of my opponent's literature and they're saying on one hand, let's protect the countryside. And on the next page, they're basically saying, let's free up the planning rules and regulations to make it easier for developers. You can't have it both ways. No. And that, that I think, leads us on to affordable homes as well, because mm. that's a massive problem in Cornwall. How many affordable homes there actually are yeah. and what actually is affordable to Cornwall? Because we know Cornwall is one of the poorest regions in Europe yeah. with humongous house prices, prices and we're kind of struggling to buy pe local people to buy their local homes. But, you know, the housing market is totally dysfunctional. You know, the Thatcher sold off all the council houses. This present lot, they've took investment away from affordable housing. They've made it more expensive. So I've actually been in the position of trying to help people in my village who were refused affordable housing because they couldn't afford it. Mm. You couldn't make it up. Now they've just changed the planning rules so that developers don't have to do any affordable homes under a development of 10. They're just making it more and more difficult for communities to make it easier and easier for their developer friends to make a profit. Mm. And that's got to change. And hopefully people will get behind organisations like Mebby and Kerno that are actually saying, let's make the decisions locally and we can put Cornwall right because it's not happening from London. Yeah.